Hello, and welcome to ENSC 2002 Thermodynamics Lab 2. In this video, we will review the equipment and go over Procedure 1, which will allow you to determine the volume ratio between two cylinders. The procedures for the second part of the lab will be covered in a follow-up video. The equipment for this lab consists of Control Box Air Pump Two Cylinders and a number of valves which connect the cylinders to the pump and to the environment. The larger cylinder is called the pressure cylinder, and air can be pumped into it, raising its pressure. The smaller cylinder is called the vacuum cylinder, and air can be pumped out, leading to vacuum conditions in the cylinder. If you look closely at each cylinder, you will see a small globe suspended on a filament. This is the temperature sensor. Because it is very small, it has low thermal mass, allowing it to track rapid changes in air temperature. If the valves are too high for you to view them easily, the apparatus may be carefully moved down to the floor. The valves are labeled on the top plate. The large wall valves, labeled 1, 2, and 3, connect the cylinders to atmosphere and to each other. Of the smaller valves, 4 and 7 connect the cylinders to the pump. We will not be using valves 5 and 6 during this lab, but the valves exist so that a controlled leak can be created between the cylinders. On the control box, you will find the main power switch, pump on-off switch, and the display control knob, which can change the display between T1 and T2, the temperature sensor readings in the large and small vessel respectively in unit of ohms, and P and V, the gauge pressure and vacuum values of the respective cylinders with units of KPA. Procedure 1. Begin by closing valves 1, 2, and 3 to isolate the cylinders from the environment. Opening valves 4 and 7 to connect the cylinders to the pump, and check that valves 5 and 6 are closed. On the control box, rotate the knob so that it is pointing to V, and the vacuum reading in the small cylinder is displayed. Then, turn on the pump. Turn the pump off when the vacuum value is between 30 and 35 kPa. Do not let the vacuum go above 35 kPa. Immediately close valves 4 and 7 to prevent air from leaking back through the pump. Watch the display and wait for the pressures and temperatures in both cylinders to stabilize. The video has been sped up, but stability is generally achieved in 1 to 2 minutes. Once stability has been achieved, use the display control knob to find the temperature and pressure for the large cylinder, and temperature and vacuum value in the small cylinder. These are the initial values of the system, and must be recorded in your lab notes. Once the values have been recorded, you must open and close valve 2. This allows some of the gas to move from the large cylinder into the small cylinder. You must once again wait for the system to stabilize. It is a good idea to watch the temperature in the large cylinder approach equilibrium with the room, as this value often takes the longest to become stable. Once the system is stable, use the display control knob to once again find the temperature and pressure for the large cylinder and temperature and vacuum value for the small cylinder. These values represent the final state of the system and must be recorded in your lab notes. Once all the values have been recorded, open valves 1, 2, and 3, as well as valves 4 and 7. You must repeat this procedure twice more to collect three sets of data for this part of the lab. Thanks for watching, and remember to watch the Lab 2 Procedure 2 video as well.